Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and inside this box is a pedal, I think. <laughs> it's a new pedal from Big Ear, and I know that it's a collaboration in between Big Ear and the Tone Mob podcast, but I don't know anything else about it, and I'm actually filming this early er than I normally would film a demo before publishing it because they want me to send the reaction footage of me opening it up to check it out because apparently there's something in here worth reacting to. Open after unboxing video? Oh my gosh. Open me first. I don't know what I'm about to be in for. Thank you so much for being part of this very special pedal launch. In this box, you will find a little souvenir that we thought might be fun to wear to spice up the video or thumbnail. No pressure at all, of course. We hope you enjoy the pedal. What the heck is this? It's too small to be a shirt. No. It's a chef's hat. I've never worn a chef's hat in my life, believe it or not. What the heck, guys? I know that Blake over at the Tone Mob loves pizza, so I'm assuming there's some sort of pizza thing going on here. Should I cut it or just unwrap it? It's wrapped like a gift. I'm gonna uh, unwrap it like a gift. Open me second. What? Oh. <laughs> No. Oh, that's too much fun. Look at this. There's the Tone Mob logo. <laughs> There's Blake with a pizza. There's Grant and Karen. The original pizza fuzz. Thank you from your favorite pizza shop. Hot and delicious slice of pie, bigger petals and the Tone Mob. Slice of pie makes me think this is a big muff. Right? It's gotta be. <laughs> they do not stop. Hey, you there. If the front of this card didn't already get the point across, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for picking up the slice of pie. We really appreciate your support and I hope you enjoy the fuzz out of your new pedal. Bon appetit. Oh, bon, bon appetito. I, I don't, I don't know how to, speak Italian. There's a napkin in there. What the? No. No. What? What the heck? Okay. My first little peek of this was just the corner and I, th <laughs> I thought there was a real piece of pizza in there. What the heck? How did they do this? No! <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I was half expecting to be a little bit let down and be like, oh, come on. What are you gonna surprise me with? That is ridiculous. That is perfect. Where did they find this enclosure? It's even printed back here. It's printed on three sides. That is wild. This is the first time I've ever seen a pedal quite like this. This is unique. Wow. You could get a bunch of these and put them all together and fit them together <laughs> like slices. That's too cool. People are gonna go bonkers for these. Oh man, they're gonna sell all of these. But the back plate, oh my gosh. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm afraid to put Velcro on that. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm so hungry for pizza now. 
make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh my gosh, okay. There's more in there. There's a pizza pen. This is, this is a pedal worth unboxing, doing an unboxing video with. This is ridiculous. Crushed red pepper pizza packet. So that's just red pepper flakes. Temporary tattoos, that's fun. <laughs> what? It also comes in a cheese option for the vegetarians. How thoughtful, how thoughtful. Jeez, guys. Oh my gosh, is this the manual? They worked really hard on this. This is bonkers. We deliver slice of pie, the original pizza fuzz, big ear pedals and tone mob. Thank you so much again for grabbing a slice with us. When we first started this project, it was just a silly idea, but it really turned into something that we are incredibly proud of. We hope you love it a lot. For years, I've been talking to folks about fuzz pedals and their pizza preferences, and now my two favorite things have officially collided. I hope this little slice brings you as much happiness as it does me. This is something that should be in the manuals or the packaging for every pedal, because there's people that work behind the scenes on pedals from all sorts of different companies, people from outside of those companies that you didn't even know worked on the pedals. But look at this, Enclosure Engineer, Jesse Rue from Rude Tech, Circuit Design, Zach Broyles from Mythos Pedals, sorry if I'm screwing up your names, Powder Coating and Printing from F5 Metalworks, Pizza for Enclosure Art for, Pizza for Enclosure Art from NY Pie in Nashville. All looks like very normal stuff, gain, tone, volume, LED, bypass, it doesn't say anything descriptive about the pedal itself, but come on. Slice of pie, if it's not a big muff, I'll be surprised. I guess it's time to open this. Open after unboxing video. This is just all the launch information. It's the embargo information for the YouTubers. I'm gonna plug this thing in and check it out. I gotta hear this pizza pedal. I love this so much. You guys are ridiculous. I can't believe this. What guitar? What guitar is my most pizza-ish guitar? I think this guitar has an appropriate look. It fits the theme with the red top and white and black stripe on the side. This is the Revelator uh, Supertone. I am running through my two Princeton's rig. This is ridiculous. All right, let's check this thing out.
piece of pizza. It's a, it's a petal that looks like a piece of pizza. It's a slice of pie, like it says on the box. It's brilliant, is what it is. It's absolutely brilliant. I have no idea if the circuit is special or different in any way whatsoever, but if I'm gonna put a Big Muff style fuzz on my board, I'm gonna pick the one out of my collection that looks like a piece of pizza. <laughs> like, it, in, in our modern guitar culture that we live in, it can be easy to make fun of kind of the Instagram culture of, hey, here's my pedal board, I filled it up with photogenic pedals. But come on, come on. Who even cares? It could be a mute and I would put this on my pedal board just to have a slice of pizza on my pedal board. Are you kidding me? I hope this becomes the new thing. I hope other pedal companies kind of follow suit and do unique pedal shapes in unique enclosure shapes with really fun, like photorealistic graphics on them like this. I've never seen anything like this before. If you guys have seen something like this before in a pedal, like post links in the comments, I'll, I'll make sure YouTube clears them so that they actually show up. But that's, it's brilliant. It's, it's absolutely, I'm completely blown away. And you know, as far as I can tell, it's a big muff. <laughs> there might be something different about the circuit. It might be special, but it is that style of distortion, pushed fuzz. I mean, it's, it sounds good. It sounds heavy. It sounds thick. It sounds crispy and crunchy and cheesy and saucy. There's a hint of oregano in there. <laughs> no, it sounds, it sounds like a slice of pie. Wink, wink, wink. You know, we've got a New York City slice of pie here, guys.
sounds good with the gain turned down with the baritone. It sounds good with it all the way up too. But that, that holds up nicely with the gain down. all the way up right now and it still sounds great with the baritone. And if I could play something of value it would sound great anyways. <laughs> I'm a little afraid all those lows were probably hitting the limiter on my recorder. We'll see how that turns out, but that, oh, it sounded great here. Heavy and thick and distorted. Plenty of high end though, to give you character and definition off of that. This is what that style circuit is supposed to be. All right, I'm gonna play out with a little bass.
working hard at getting a handle on the bass, but I feel like I've made pretty good progress. I've been practicing uh, to tracks that I find on YouTube and click tracks and little drum tracks and stuff like that. I've been trying to do what the AMP channel on, um, on TikTok told me to do. I think that's what your channel name is called. I'll flash it up here, but he told me wrong notes in time is the way to play bass. <laughs> so that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, wrong notes are given with me. It's gonna happen, but in time, that has been the challenge. So I've been working on trying to keep rhythm, trying to find grooves, trying to just play without stopping. Grant has given me some good tips too, because Grant is a, is a bass player as well. There you go, there's some wrong notes in time. It sounded great to me. It sounded great across all three guitars. It does the thing. It does the thing, and it does it while being hilarious and looking like something you absolutely want to have on your pedal board because all those, you know, all those people that come up to the front of the stage when you're playing at a show and they peek over the pedal board and they're like, oh, let's see what compressor he has. Is that a slice of pizza? Like, that's the reaction you're going to get from people. I mean... I talked about it earlier. Is there a more Instagrammable pedal than this? I don't think so. And if you're going to have a muff style circuit or a distortion fuzz style circuit on your board, whatever this happens to be, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the circuit. Why wouldn't you want it to look like a slice of pizza? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude, nasty comments, support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked. Go click the links. Go check this out. I have a feeling there's only so many of these that are going to be sold. And if you want one, now is the time. When this video launches, I have a feeling now is the time to snatch one of these up because who knows how long they'll have them in stock and how many will be left and when they'll make more. I hope they make these forever. I hope they never stop making these. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. Good job, Grant and Karen and Blake. Jeez. And everyone else everyone else that was involved in this. <laughs> now you know what it takes to make me happy. Just show me a picture of pizza, right? All right. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded.